Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today we're going to take a look at the iPad Mini, but over three years later. This iPad was released on November 2nd, 2012, and I got it the day it came out, and this is actually the black model. They don't make these colors anymore. Same with the iPhone 5. It came in this color. I really like this black color. It only came in black and, and white, or black and silver, and this was pretty nice at the time. It's black anodized coating and it's held up pretty well, but that's because I had a skin on it. Now this particular iPad has been in pretty good shape. Like I said, it had a skin on it. It hasn't been dropped. It's in nice shape, but there is some wear on it and you'll see that mostly along these edges here. Let me bring it in a little bit closer and you'll see along this edge it's worn out and that's just from regular use over the time and years that we've had it. And I started using it and then it got handed down and now my kids use it regularly it's probably used just about every day and that should give us a good indication of what the battery is like and how it's held up now the front actually has a screen protector on it this is actually a tech 21 impact resistant screen protector i'm not even sure that they make it anymore and you can see it's got a scratch in it right there that it protected the screen from so it's held up well i've never taken it off the back had a best skins ever or a zag shield on it one of those and i've taken that off since and it protected it well so it's held up really nicely and works really well everything works on it let's first talk about what it what it came in and what had what it actually had in it this was basically the same as an ipad 2 that means it had apple's a5 chipset in it a one gigahertz dual core processor 512 megabytes of ram came in 1632 or 64 gigabyte options and this is actually a 16 gigabyte option and then the display uh, is a 7.9 inch display and this was pretty revolutionary in the time in the sense that steve jobs said they would never do a small ipad and then after his passing, uh, they actually released this iPad. So I don't know if it was in the works before or after. Either way, here it is. It also has two cameras. It's got a front-facing 1.2 megapixel camera, which is actually better than the current MacBook that was just released front-facing camera. And then it has a 5 megapixel rear-facing camera. So it's all pretty decent as far as that goes. Now, the display is pretty old. So let's go ahead and unlock it. This display is pretty old in the sense that it's not a retina display. It's 1024 by 768 and 163 pixels per inch. So for those that haven't, that haven't actually used a retina display, it's going to look fine. For those of you that have, it's not going to look so great, just like the older iPads. Until the retina iPads came out, uh, if you've used a retina display, it's really kind of hard to go back. But that said, it still looks pretty good given its age. The colors have stayed bright and vibrant. Everything seems to work okay. And given that it's got a slightly smaller screen, I think that helps with speed because the iPad 2 doesn't seem to respond this quickly. Now, this originally came with iOS 6.0.1 on it. And now we're on iOS 9.3.1 on this iPad. This has the latest update available to the public on it. And it seems to handle it okay until you go to Spotlight Search, and then it kind of stutters a little bit. You'll see. So for the most part, it's pretty good. So the camera still works. Everything still kind of works on it. You'll see the there's a little bit of delay there. I'm not sure where everything is on the iPad. My daughter uses it mostly. But you'll see there's my keyboard in the background. The camera works. You can snap a photo. Flip the, the camera back this way. You'll see here I am talking into the microphone, and everything works pretty good. It's, it's surprisingly fast given its age. Now, I know a lot of people think that Apple builds in basically the ability for things to get old and not work anymore. I tend to think it's more along the lines of they're trying to pack as many features into an older device, and it just slows it down. Now, this is a 16 gigabyte model, and for its time, it was pretty inexpensive. It was only $329, and then you step up 100 for each version, and then another 129 if you have the cellular and, and Wi-Fi version. This is just the simple Wi-Fi version. And for that price, that seems a bit much for what you got back then. But if you could pick one of these up, I'm not sure what this is. This must be a software bug or something, but it just popped up and it won't close. So I'm not sure if that's this iPad or not, but let's go ahead and turn it off and I'll turn it back on. Now, while I'm waiting for this to boot back up, uh, the ports have held up pretty well too. The lightning adapter, everything's good. You can see there's some stuff inside these speakers here uh, that we could probably clean out a little bit, but I wanted to leave it just how it is from day to day and show you that it works fine. It's actually used with a smart cover 
And the smart cover, I originally had a red one. This one's been written on and like I said, it's used by kids. It's kind of grody, but it still works fine. Turns the iPad on and off and, and works okay. Now the iPad's going to take a little bit to boot given that it's older and has a newer OS on it. I really wish they'd let you downgrade though, but that does come with its disadvantages too. So let me unlock this again. Now the iPad's unlocked and let's take a look at Safari. Now Safari seems to have some of the worst lag of anything when it comes to new iPads. You'll see it's loading. It's going to take a minute. Let's and then we'll scroll and it's okay right here. Let me go to my website zolotech.com. We'll wait for that to load and it's taking a while and it seems to be faster on other devices. I don't know if it's this device or not. But let's bring in the iPad Air 2 so we can kind of compare it and show you what it's like. So I'll open the same thing here. We'll just type in Zolotech. We'll go to my website, see if it loads similarly. Yeah, it might be my website's a little bit slow too. But we'll see how the scrolling is here. So it seems to be okay once it's fully loaded. And I don't know if you can see the difference in the displays, but this display looks a lot better. Uh, we have a lot less vibrant colors on the right, more vibrant colors on the left. There's definitely a difference, but it is quite a few years newer. So that's one thing. This seems to be okay once everything fully loads, but to get there sometimes is really laggy. If I open another tab, you'll see it, it just hangs there. I open another tab, it opens immediately here. Let's open videos on this iPad. So we'll open them at the same time. And this was running in the background. Let's close both. And we'll open them again just to show you speed differences between the two. So let's open them. And that was pretty good. And you'll see the scrolling stutters a little bit, but it's not as bad as I would have thought it would be. And that's maybe because it's not pushing as many pixels and things like that. But these are just movies that I've bought or came free with Blu-rays or whatever that I've bought. So it feels pretty good. But I think if you, if you actually had an iPad mini and you didn't use anything else, you'd have no other frame of reference and it would feel okay. But it's not the smooth experience that you had with it originally. And that's pretty unfortunate. If it was really smooth, like iOS 6, once iOS 7 came along, that, that whole smoothness went away unless you had really good hardware. Now let's talk about battery life. Apple says that after two years of use, the battery life have, should have only degraded at a maximum by 20%, meaning you should have 80% of the original life of the iPad battery. Now, I don't know if that's true. Let's take a look in settings. It was true on the iPad 2, actually has more than 80% battery life. So let's go to battery. And we'll wait for it to load here. You'll see that stuttered when I scrolled that. So right now, this has had two hours of usage. Let me bring this up here. So right now, it's had two hours of usage, 31 hours of standby. And let me go over the last seven days. Yeah, it looks like 7%. Uh, over those time that time it's it's been charged some time ago so this is surprisingly good on battery still i don't really hear my my kids complain that it needs to be charged often and it seems to be holding its battery really well and i i don't know if that's because we're charging it when it needs it uh, i don't do anything special with the batteries i plug it in when it needs to be charged i unplug it when it's fully charged i just don't really, I've never really paid attention to that and never had a problem with Apple products because they manage that on the software side. So that's pretty much it as far as the iPad mini. I haven't had any really bad experiences with it. I think it's held up really well and it's a really loved design, but I don't know if it's going to be around that much longer. There's kind of some rumors that it may go away because of the larger iPad Pro and the regular size iPad taking its place. But let me know if you have any questions or comments or your experience with the iPad 2 or the iPad mini in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. Show you how it works. So we're going to delete Lara Croft Go. Now I'm going to leave the app on the phone, but show you you can delete it from the purchase history within the App Store. So on your iPhone or iPad,